thus far. Andrea Di Marco, the referee, gets us underway. And no changes made by either manager at half-time. A reminder, if you've just tuned in, that Roma looking to reduce the deficit to eight points from the leaders Juventus at the top of the Serie A table. This is their game in hand. This match was started, actually, early in February, but it was abandoned after eight minutes. A little reminder of the teams today. One or two changes from that original fixture. Now, Jovinho. De Rossi. Tade. Benatia. The only difference from the first match for Roma is, of course, that Kevin Strootman's not playing. Season-ending injury. Keeping him out of the midfield. Palmer missing a number of players. As Pjanic looks for Maicon. Notably, though, number 11 and Maori can play in this one. He is suspended at the moment in Syria, but he wasn't suspended for the original match, which means he can play in this one. Same reason that uh, Rajan Angolan's not involved for Roma tonight. Biabini with the interception there. Great home record, Roma this season, 12 wins and three draws from their 15 matches at the Olimpico. Only lost two games all season. 3-0 at Juventus in January and also beaten by, by a single goal at Napoli. Here's Mattia Destro now. And... Uh, Molinaro sliding in. Early second half threat from Roma. We had a real flurry of goals, didn't we, at the start of the first half. Beautiful touch from Totti. And Andro Castan, and Daniele Di Rossi. Castan in his second season with Roma, the former Corinthians defender. Lovely skill from the Roma captain. Pjanic, De Rossi, Totti lets it run, now Jovinho will run, he's got Destro alongside him but he went for glory, it's still Jovinho, he leaves it, and it's 3-1 Roma, and it's Pjanic who scores on his birthday. And surely that gap to Juventus is going to close a little bit now to eight points. Pjanic able to stroke the ball home. De Rossi with the initial pass, the dummy from Totti, Jovinho did much of the legwork. Decided to leave it for Pjanic, who was able to just guide the ball home. Out of the reach of Antonio Mirante. Well, it was 3-1 in the reverse fixture early in the season, and it's 3-1 now. And Roma, at the moment, set fair for a 13th home win of the season. up off the canvas here and get back in the game. 
Been decent away from home. Six wins on the road this season for Donadoni's boys. But now they're going to head towards a sixth defeat away. And what would be the second defeat at the Olimpico inside just a few days, having been beaten by Lazio 3-2 at the weekend. Pjanic just caught by Mari. Chavinho, deft flick, Totti just caught underneath the referee's nose as well. Free kick given away by Christian Molinaro. Came off the bench for the last 11 minutes uh, against Lazio on Sunday, but getting the start today. De Rossi to take. Javinho. Scorer of the first goal. Creator in chief of the third. Panic. Scored just a couple of minutes ago on the prowl again now. The Bosnia. Totti. Mike on well forward. De Rossi, all Roma at the moment. Beautiful turn by Pjanic. Not quite such a good delivery forward. Sani has a tactical forward charge down, Leandro Castan. The pressure from Ezekiel Skilotto. Cassani with the throw, Marco Marchioni now. It's like haze over the Olimpico. Down goes Maicon, free kick given against Gobbi. Roma too quick with the free kick. And the winner of softest free kick of the day. De Rossi. Pjanic. Kasani has got this one covered. Monte only finding De Rossi. Tade. Beautifully weighted and guided header, but the cross from Torresides doesn't find Destro. De Rossi winning it back. Saved by Mirante. Mattia Destro flashing it over the bar. Totti's initial shot saved. And snatched at by Destro. Parolo, 
scored uh, more goals from midfield than any other Italian player in Serie A this season with seven. Picks out Biabini here. Palmer could get a goal back, it would certainly make life interesting. Managed doing his best to reclaim the ball. Excellent play by Biabini. And Rodrigo Tadej gets it away. Foul by Parolo. Alessandro <laughs> Florenzi preparing to come on for Roma. And Florenzi who scored against Palmer in the middle of September. Garcia perhaps feeling that the two goal cushion maybe can make a couple of changes here. 35 minutes to go. Totti using out this time. Amari looking for Aqua but asking a lot. Molinari, Lucarelli. Gopi. Got a point in this stadium three years ago in a 2 2 draw. Back in February of uh, 2011. Need to find a couple of goals from somewhere here in what remains of the game. Andrew Castell full of determination there. Still Florenzi waits. Touching to be a BNE. By Marco Marchioni. Asani's cross and Gobbi with the header. Not close to really troubling Morgan De Sanctis this time. And Mattia Destro is the player leaving the field. First time in five, he's failed to find the net. Very nearly did, though, didn't he, with that first goal, the ball bouncing off the foot of the post. And Alessandro Florenzi on, and scored in the reverse fixture. A last-minute winner last week in the 2-1 home win over Torino. So Destro off and Florenzi on. Corelli to get that one out from under his feet with Giovinio rapidly approaching. Matteo Cassani with the ball forward. Pjanic penalised. Biabini. Parolo. Cassani offering himself up. Away from Totti. Cassani. So wide, it's actually a throw in. Miralem hey, hey. Pjanic now under pressure, losing out, collected by Parolo, Schelotto, Marchioni, Schelotto racing into the box. Good play there by uh, Medi Benatia to get it clear. Here's Alessandro Lucarelli, Marco Marchioni. With the ball forward, Parolo. And towards him, Maori. Meantime, Roma can try to hit them on the counter with Jovino. He's got Cassani backpedalling here. No free kick. 
Here Bini, beaten to it by Maicon. Maicon's done really well here. Chance for Florenzi, oh, and the first touch just let him down. Florenzi, here's Javinho. Trying to be a little too precise, easy header away there for Matteo Cassani. Danger still not cleared though. Didn't quite work for Torresidis or for Totti there. Roma really threatening a fourth goal. Great play by Maicon going forward again. That first touch just enabled Lucarelli to get back. Bit of room here for uh, Cassani. Half an hour to go. Palmer could do with a goal just to give themselves a little extra belief that they can get back and get something from this game. A free aqua. Marchioni. Don't forget, as always, we've got plenty of football coming up for you on BT Sport Live. We are live with the Scottish Premiership again on Friday evening on BT Sport 1 as Ross County take on Inverness Caledonian Thistle. It will start at 7 o'clock. That's BT Sport 1 on Friday evening. Pjanic. Icon penalised, Palmer with the free kick and the chance to attack, but De Sanctis quick to anticipate the danger, presented by Ezekiel Schelotto, away by De Rossi and Christian Molinaro. Able to just guide that one back. Free Aqua, closed down by Pjanic, Kasani. And Corelli trying to find uh, Gobbi, who just keeps the ball in play. Biabini hugging this near touchline as well. Frustration at the miscontrol. And such a key player for Palmer, uh, Biabini. Good form lately as well, scored three goals in the last five before today. Yeah. Right by Benatia. Molinaro forward towards uh, Schilotto. Parolo, Aqua, waits for support on the far side, provided as ever by Mattia Cassani. Struggling to create clear-cut chances here as Gobbi tries to get in behind the defence. Adam Lajic there, the number eight among the substitutes, having a little stretch for Roma. Flags flying high in the curve, 3-1 up.
next game for Roma, by the way, at the weekend. On Sunday, they travel to face Cagliari. The word in Mike Hunt's ear. Totti. Pjanic. Lorenzi full of running. Controlled by Gobbi, who's then fouled. Pjanic pulled up by the referee. Lucarelli having a little look round. Torresidi's really committed himself there. Just kept in play. And Palmer have a corner. Which will be their first of the second half. 20 minutes after the break. Heading towards the uh, three quarter mark in the game. away by Torresides. Bobby's touch worked out wide by Marchioni. And it'll be Roman's ball. And at the moment it looks as if it's going to stay at, at one win all time for Parma at the Olympico over Roma. 1-0 victory in April 1997. Success, few and far between. A couple of wins in the last decade or so, including a 3-2 home win over Roma last season. But Roma very much with the upper hand. 45 league meetings over the years. Roma have won 27 of them. Palmer nine. And nine matches drew. Skilotta riding the challenge of Torresidis. Aqua. Lucarelli just kept in play there by uh, Fasani, did really well. To be taken by De Sanctis, who hasn't been unduly troubled for quite a while in the game now. De Rossi. Benatia. And now Torresidis. They were looking pretty comfortable as it stands. Still over 20 minutes to go, though. Tade. Totti trying to guide that one into the uh, path of Jovinho without success. Marco Marchioni. Minaro. Palmer trying to plot a route back into the match, but rarely threatening the Roma goal the longer the game goes on. Florenzi is the substitute. Too heavy footed there in search of Totti. Free Aqua. Nice play for Ghana, but not for a little while. For the last 18 months or so, still only 22. Aqua. Kasani. Towards a Maori. Stuck his head in there and. Almost felt a boot to the face. De Rossi. Lovely touch from Tade. Totti let it bounce. Gobby collecting. Gianni Munari is waiting to come on for Palmer at the moment. Meanwhile, here's uh, Biabini. Away by 
by Benatia, the flick from Totti, Jovino beaten to it. And trying to get on the end of this one now, Jovino is pretty much on his own. Away from the first defender, Luca Relli, but just had to push it that little bit too far. Which enabled Antonio Morante to come out and clear. Aqua. Dillied and dallied, it's Totti's ball, and Jovino is offside. Let's have a look, just half a step. And now Afriye Aqua is going to be replaced. It's, it was he who equalised early in the game after Jovino had put Roma ahead, his first goal for Parma. And Gianni Munari, who came off the bench for the last 20 minutes on Sunday against Lazio, does exactly the same thing here. Munari with 20 minutes to try and make an impression. Be a beanie now for Parma. As things stand, Roma would, of course, stay second, but would close the gap to eight points on the leaders Juventus. Parma would stay sixth, point behind Inter. There's Pjanic, Pjanic now. Good time for Maicon. with Totti. Torosini is getting uh, forward. De Rossi. Tada. Florenzi a little bit deeper. comfortable in possession. Daniele De Rossi. That's Maicon. Just trying to flick it on towards Jovino. Unable to provide some support. Lorenzi was striding forward. Nice idea that nearly came off. Lucarelli looking for Christian Molinaro. Molinaro. The turn tries to find Bia Bini, but he's been watched really closely there by Leandro Castan. Barely had a sight of goal, uh, Jonathan Biabini tonight. Gobi. And again, it all rather peters out in that final third for Palmer. Just over 16 minutes to go, but this was the move. At the other end of the field a minute or so ago. Oh, weighted pass back in from uh, Florenzi. Tade straining every sinew to get on the end of it. in a row for Palmer after that excellent 17-match unbeaten run. Winners of eight of the previous 11 before the losing run started. It's 
still time for a comeback for them, but only 15 minutes or so. to create the sort of problems in the second half so far that they were able to create at times in the first. Skelotto. Go forward by Munari. Michel Bastos is going to come on now for Roma <laughs> to replace the captain. Totti, scorer of the second goal, cracking one it was too. Can rest his legs for another day. And for the final 14 minutes, Michel Bastos comes on. He added the second on Sunday in the win at uh, Sassuolo. Bastos was only on the field for the last five minutes, scored right at the end of the game. It was his first goal for the club since he arrived during the transfer window in January on loan from Alain. So Bastos, although has only started once, has been involved in and appeared in each of the last ten matches in the league since his arrival. It's his ninth appearance off the bench. Biabini really felt that one from Medi Benatia. Just bouncing off Florenzi. Palmer were rather hoping for a handball decision. Marchioni. Twelve minutes to go, plus added time. Molinaro. Alessandro Lucarelli now. Finding Cassani up against Torresides. He chopped him in half there. He'll settle for the throw. is absolutely fine, here comes the throw. It's away by Leandro Castan, now it's with Jovino. Whistle goes and play is being brought back, and Pjanic is saying, what, what's happened there? Let's have a look. There's a bit of a tussle between uh, Lucarelli and Jovino. And Palmer have the free kick. Pisani gets ready to take it. And he dissenters his ball, watched it all the way. He's a 
just got a little bang on the ear from Lucarelli, who was going for it. And Tempest momentarily frayed a little. There we are. Just a clunk on the ear there from the uh, Palmer defender. One by Parolo. It's going to be a Roma throw. Looking comfortable here. Maicon trying to find Jovino. Got be with a little pass inside. Marchioni. Lucarelli leaves it. Here's Bastos. Not long off the bench. First time we've seen him in action. Torresidis forward. Lovely play by the Greek fullback towards Alessandro Florenzi and Palmer survived but only just oh, it was good play there by Roma didn't quite fall for Florenzi well, well inside the last 10 minutes here and this Roma pushed for a fourth goal De Rossi captaining the side since Totti went off. Usual suspects up from the back. And it comes, and it is a fourth. And it's Rodrigo today with the header. And if it wasn't all over before, it certainly is now. The points are Roma's. And there's still a heartbeat to their title challenge, however unlikely it seems. And it's now turned into an excellent result here for Roma. And a special moment for Rodrigo Tade, who guided that header in. And it's a great way to round off what is in the end a comfortable home win. What a celebration. Towering header for Tade, and it's his first goal since 2011. No wonder he's celebrating with great gusto, and why not? Great image there of Tade celebrating with the fans. Quite a while since he was uh, able to celebrate scoring a goal. Big win this for Roma. Free kick Palmer. Given away by Maicon. And Pirolo's just going to wait a little while. We have another change. Being made by Roberto Donadoni. And Parolo, the player to go off. And being replaced by Jose Mari, 17 year old central midfield player, born in Argentina, an Italian under 17 international. And Eskel Schilotto is also going to go off now. And his replacement is Raffaele Palladino. And Palladino came on for the last 22 minutes on Sunday against Lazio. Came 
off the bench in three of the last five now. Jovinho also taking his leave. Jovinho, scorer of the opening goal. Roma out of the block so quickly in this game. It was a blistering start. And Jovinho is a completely different player, having been reunited with uh, former manager Rudy Garcia at Roma. Off and Roma make their final substitution. And uh, Maicon with a chance to clear. Confirmation there that uh, Jose Mauri has come on for Palmer. Smiles all round on the Roma bench. Biabini inside the last five minutes. Hooked away by Benatia. Cassani. Did well to get the ball in. Leandro Castan. Drilled in hard. Shot uh, coming in from Palladino. Had only just come onto the pitch. Planich down. Planich down and Maori. Jose Maori, the 17 year old, is. Booked, he hasn't touched the ball yet. Three defeats in a row for Palmer. It's been a really good season for them, though. Three defeats in the space of a week. Although, to be fair, two of them are coming get, come against the top two teams in the division against uh, Juventus and Roma. And the other one, a 3-2 loss to Lazio. Proceed is sliding in with a challenge. Ping lies left on Maori. Inside the last three, plus any added time. Time which isn't going to save Palmer on this particular occasion. Away comes Florenzi now for Roma. As they try to put the cherry on top of the performance. Adam Laich in towards Pjanic, who was tackled, who was looking for a free kick. Referee says no, he was well placed. De Rossi momentarily wins it back. Out wide by Munari, here's Biabini. Is there a consolation here for a Maori? No, Bastos. Two minutes to go. And then Laich, the last of the Roma substitutes. Marchione, he was looking for uh, Gianni Munari. Away by Di Rossi and Maicon. Molinaro there ahead of Pjanic. Gobbi's ball forward. Collected by Palladino. And the shot from Biabini! That's an excellent goal from Jonathan Biabini! And Palmer have a consolation with just a minute to go. The sixth goal of the game. And it gives us a 4-2 scoreline. Bia Bini guiding it home. Four goals in the last six matches for him now. Well, he's barely had a chance worthy of the name during the match. And one suddenly appeared right at the end and he took it. So, just as they did on Sunday, Palmer scored two goals at the Olympico, but again, they're going to end up empty-handed. And it is going to be 
a six away defeat of the season. The 13th home win, though, for Roma. Down goes Tade. Referee waves play on again, and here comes Birbini once more. Amari waits in the centre, sliding in is Leandro Castan. Well, we're playing three minutes of added time. Florenzi. Torresides dispossessed. Chance for Cassani to deliver the cross. He was looking for a free kick, but he's not getting one. It's a Roma free kick now. Rodrigo Tade, scorer of the fourth, and uh, the most extravagant goal celebration of the match. When he scores infrequently as he does, you can't blame him at all. Mari's touch, Gobi. Jose Mari. Mike on stepping in, De Rossi, Tade. Bastos well forward, here's uh, Lajic. Now Torresides. Looking for Michel Bastos. Into the last minute of added time. Really good win this for Roma. Their match in hand on Juventus. Palmer's <laughs> players almost getting in each other's way there. The determination from Palladino who gets the free kick. Last 30 seconds or so of the game, just about time for one last attack, perhaps. Gobi, I think, is going to leave this one to Raffaele Palladino. I think Palmer need to get on with this. And it comes, and the header over the... Almost over the top of the bar, but just way, way wide and still in. And there goes the final whistle. Excellent game, six goals, Jovinho and Totti in the first half for Roma, Pjanic and Tade in the second.